Everyone, on the road, by the left, quick march. The songs are well rehearsed. The Hamilton's Bone Silver Band is ready to go on the march. Eighteen-year-old Lucy Bingham grew up here in a Protestant family. All the band members are Protestants and by tradition they see themselves as British. But in this particular area, they're in the minority. The townspeople all around are mostly Catholic and Irish nationalist. And ever since Brexit, tensions have been rising again. You know, there's a very much division in the community. You know, we're surrounded here by, there is nationalist areas and it's like, you wouldn't go to them places. Because of the past, because of the troubles, people around here are very angry. We're just heading back to that place, that dark place. And obviously we, we don't want to go back. At times, Protestants here have felt discriminated against. At one point, her own family was a target of IRA assassins, Lucy says. Now she feels as if they have to put their guard up all over again. She's certain she wants to stay in the United Kingdom. What we have got out of Brexit, it's, yeah, it's very much heading for United Ireland, which is against what every unionist wants. We don't want that. Lucy's home in Northern Ireland lies just a few kilometers from the border to the Republic of Ireland, but she hardly ever goes there. Cross Maglen is a Catholic town, a former stronghold of the IRA. Right next to the big former army base is the youth center. The Catholic youth here define their identities very differently. They cross the border routinely. They all have relatives in the Republic of Ireland. An Irish man. Yeah, I just I wouldn't really count myself as British because we are still connected to Ireland and we live in Northern Ireland, we're still Ireland, so Irish, yeah. I feel like even though Northern Ireland is part of the United Kingdom, I just feel because it's just our own island, you just feel Irish. All at once, unification with EU member Republic of Ireland is on the table, according to surveys. The Irish nationalist Sinn Féin, once the political arm of the IRA, emerged from the Northern Ireland Assembly election in May as the strongest party. Liz Kimmins is a deputy to the Assembly. Covid and Brexit has shown people that th there are huge benefits at looking at an all-island economy um, and an all-island approach and, and that's something that's grown without any of us pushing. Um, it's, it's coming naturally and certainly we will be doing all we can to facilitate that. But the violence of the past still haunts the present day. Memorials to fighters killed on both sides are well maintained. Liz Kimmins, Sinn Féin, insists that it's changed. It has long been committed to achieving its goal of a united Ireland using only peaceful means. Every one of us wants to live in a society that is peaceful and that is prosperous. And that's something that we all have, have common ground on. Um, for those people that do fear the, the prospect of constitutional change, I would be saying to them there's nothing to fear. Be part of the discussion. That is how we're going to shape it. That is how we address those fears. But it's going to take some very tactful and persuasive diplomacy and lots of patience to bring loyalist Protestants like Lucy on board. Well, I hope in my future, in my life, that I never see a united Ireland. I hope that I, I live to the day where it's still Northern Ireland, very much that's part of the UK. Most, if not all, the Hamilton's Bone Silver Band members think like Lucy. But many also sense that the winds are changing. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but someday soon.